another special meeting of council for uh, Monday, April 30th, 2019 to order. And need approval of the agenda, I think. Uh, Mr. Peroka, you wanted to add something? Yeah, I'd like to add to the library discussion with the budget. Are you adding anything? No, I'm not adding anything today, Your Worship. Okay. Uh, approval of the agenda as amended. Favor? Just on, on that, will the library discussion be to cover uh, oh, uh, taxes? Sorry, I should I, I guess so. I would have it before. Okay. 310. So, okay. Approval of the agenda is uh, ended. Okay. All in favor? Yeah, so I know we had this discussion at our last meeting and we put a number into the budget, but I actually have a motion I want to read out. <clears throat> and I know it was emailed and there's some discussion there from Mr. Wall. So I, I, my motion reads, request administration to only release $322,359 of the budget of $371,000 to the library. Can you say that again, those numbers again? Yeah, request administration only release $322,359. Of the budget at three hundred seventy-one thousand dollars to the library, that'll be a two percent increase that we already previously voted on. Second for that. Discussion. So maybe I don't quite understand your motion here. You're saying just release the three hundred twenty-two, but approve the three seventy-one, or is it only going to be the three twenty-two that we're approving? Yeah, no. So. Talking with Mr. Wall, we'd have to review the finance plan, which we can make that motion. We can defeat this one and have the other motion. But I just thought it might be easier, uh, less work in regards to staffing. If we change it, we'll have to have some more meetings, which I'm fine with more meetings. But I know we pre approved the 2%, and that's kind of what I'm looking at. So I do have another motion where it says to change the financial plan to include that 322000 if that's what council wishes. So my only concern is, is how does that, whatever it is, Forty-nine thousand dollars. Where where does that does that sit in limbo, or is that something that through the year we could then decide? Okay, yeah, we're going to give that e extra money out. Or where does that money go? It just goes into surplus. So that that would be unallocated <coughs> funds, so council can do with it. You could leave it in surplus and it roll into the bank and spend it on other projects. So what you're saying is that um, we're not going to look at the wages. We have to raise the wages to the, the average. Is that yeah, correct. I'm just looking at the 2% increase. It was previously approved by the council. My, my, my concern with the, the wage uh, comparison that was done, it was done with Dawson Creek, Fort St. John, and Fort Nelson. Not, not in comparison with the size of Tumble Ridge or what they offer. Chatham was only one in comparison. To me, they were fairly close in numbers between the two communities. So uh, right now, where, where are we sitting right now, Mr. Wall? Uh, what have we approved? So right now, Council's approved $371,000 in the budget for the library. And that would have been, so there's three numbers that Council can work with, or you can work with any numbers you wish, but there's three numbers that Council has been working with. You've got the 2% wage increase, which is what uh, Councillor Kokoka has proposed with 322. You have the wages adjusted to the uh, market wages as included in the salary comparison, which would be 369,000. And then you have the money that's currently in the budget, which is 371,000. Yes. Yeah, the, the market comparison, which uh, communities did we take into consideration while making that? Uh, Dawson Creek, Fort Nelson, Chatwin, and Fort St. John. So we have two larger and two smaller? Then why would we be sticking to the 2%, which puts them clearly under the market value? I, I agree with that. I, I, I'd, like, I'd like to, well, there's 369, I guess, is the. Or do you 
forth. Can I? I have something to add as well. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Helen. Oh, okay. Um, I'm okay with the 2% increase only at this time, and then maybe look at something for next year. Um, the district, to me, is at risk of throwing the balance off with wages. Um, I'm thinking of um, the daycare like, and the, the small businesses. Like, there are still businesses and residents that aren't doing well unless they, you know, one, work for the municipality or work at the mine. So, and I know the daycare, there's still a wait list for children, and their wages are much lower. So, and to me, um, if we start um, increasing um, and, and put a, a balance way off, um, we won't be attracting quality people to work with our children. And to me, that's one of the most important resources in our town, as well as the library. They do that as well. But right now, I see, you know, the district and you know the library being in conflict with some of these other areas that are trying to be sustainable and that's all my big concern is is throwing that balance way off uh councillor scott brings up a good point there and maybe i hadn't thought that one through enough but uh what she says it makes a lot of sense to me too i don't like getting into this stuff where we we're getting to the point where we increase budgets to, so they can change their wages. To me, if they want to change their wages, that's up to them to figure out what they need to do with their hours. If it's important enough that they need to retain their employees, they can cut back a few hours or they could change their, their job structure. But I don't agree with just saying the easiest solution is just go in and get another 20% you know, increase in your budget. Like uh, what Councillor Scott says is bang on. I agree that we should stick to the 2% for this year and then if, you know, if, if if something comes up that we need to look at doing more next year or, or along the road, then we do it. I think this was a rushed thing that we got into anyways. So to me, I, I can support what Councilor Prokout is saying at this time. Yeah, thank you, Motion. And I agree with Councilor uh, Scott as well in regards to, and my thing is, I think we need to use the proper comparisons when we're doing it. To me, a proper comparison, no disrespect to this, uh, you went with what you went with. But Fort St. John and Goss Creek are not comparison to us. Chetwin is, and Chetwin is very similar to us. But there's other communities our size that are doing the same stuff. And it's something to me we should be looking at next year, not rushing through. That's obviously for a motion for sure. I, uh, I, I like to kind of get into the average weight, but I, I'll agree with you that it maybe wasn't done right this time, and, and I would not risk budget. I would uh, probably go this way. It sounds like majority of councillors would be going that way. I do not want to see the budget get uh, thrown out because of just not being done right. And it has nothing to do with us. It's just the way they did it and they brought it around. Yeah. That's uh, I guess that's a threat. Is that we could really be jammed up for getting this budget through. And that would have, you'd have to ask your councillors if they don't get their way on this, if they're going to vote the budget down. I, 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 and I agree that this hasn't been done right. It, it has been all bunked on us for a long time. And, uh, I, I, I feel comfortable voting for this 369 because I think I've got enough of information, but I can see some councillors don't feel that way. Anybody else? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the comparison. We've got we've got a lower and a higher grade, and um, seem to be somewhere in the middle. You know, maybe a little bit on the lower part of the middle. But um, um, I don't also don't subscribe to the fact because these guys aren't being paid enough that we keep the, the we keep this this section down too. Um, as far as daycare goes, there could could very well be some relief coming to them really quickly by the provincial government, which would drastically reduces what it costs to uh, to have a, a child stay in daycare. And the other thing is, is the daycare has the ability to raise their prices in order to, to meet their, their needs too. Library doesn't have that. The library is a stand they own. They, they, they rely solely on, on uh, and aside from the grants they get. I mean, what we contribute is uh, probably the most important part of that whole function. I, I don't necessarily agree with what Councillor Mackay says on, you know, I, I understand 
daycare can't raise their wages and the library cannot raise their wages. But the library does control, they control their own budget. They can change their budget how they how they see fit and they can change things along the way. Like I said, they're open 58 hours a week, I think, where they're at. So when we had a reduction in people in Tumblr Ridge, the bank dropped their hours to what are they doing? 12 hours a week or something like that? You know, oh, sorry. You know, yeah. it's a similar, a similar thing. They had to, they had to change their budget because there was no money to be made here at the time. The town has rebounded. What's the bank done? You know, and and that argument has been said over and over again. Like, it, you know, at some point, you know, my my biggest concern about our budget at this point, which is still the white elephant in the room, is the two million dollars missing from PRC that we used to get, and we have not really addressed that. We've never really looked at the fact that we're continuing to lose. Everybody that comes in wants more and more money as they come through. And certain things we knock off, we say, no, nope, can't do this yet, can't do this yet. This, to me, when somebody comes in looking for it, initially was a, I can't even remember what the initial 40%, 49% increase to their budget. It was, they way overshot it to start with. And then they come back in, and this is a 20% increase in their budget, somewhere in that neighborhood. To me, I understand where they're at. We need to have better discussions. This is not the right time to start right now, but we're losing as much money uh, in income. And our, our, if you look at our budget, it's starting to shrink. We're taking more and more money out of reserves every year that we go forward, and our reserves are shrinking because we're not willing to make these tough decisions. And to me, this is one of the ones we just kind of start at and we say, hang on. It's not that we don't disagree with them. Maybe wages need to be looked at better, but I think it's a rush decision at this point. And any of this stuff that's, that's added this type of money, I think we need to have that Yeah, and just, I mean, just in reply to that, I mean, uh, Who's happy with the? Um, I mean, the, the bank definitely have the ability to do that. They, they're their business. They they run their business accordingly. And uh, who's who in Tumble Ridge is happy with that? No That's right. And exactly, the library performs a function that uh, is much needed in Tumble Ridge. You know, uh, and uh, relevance between the two, two two totally separate things. But there's a place for kids to go, a place for adults to go. They can come home from work and still have time maybe to go to go and hit the library. Um, it performs a function in town where we, we, we don't have theaters, we don't have anything else. Uh, that, that, that performs a function where, uh, and a meeting place for, for different groups and uh, um, everything right down from children to adults. Uh, the, so it's, um, it's something that uh, I think it's going to be missed if the hours had to be reduced. Um, is that me? Sorry about that. Um, and I think the two are the, the although I understand what you're saying with, with the redu reduction in our uh, in our uh, income per year, um, we're still well able to handle something like this. That we're not in any way. Happy. I agree. I, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't want to see the reduced the, the hours there. Everybody seems pretty happy with what's on with the library. And then when they compare it with the bank, I mean, it's terrible. Kids, I mean, all these people for our kids, definitely the same library as the daycare. Yeah, and, and maybe like the, the <laughs> idea of, of reducing hours is just an idea. That's that's an idea that I'm putting forward. I mean, yeah, uh, we don't yeah, we don't yeah. control the, uh, the board. Yeah. Right? It's just something that. Yeah. You know, no, I know. Off the handle, this is one thing you could do. There may be other things they can do within their own budget. Right? So, yeah. But to me, yeah. I just don't agree with increasing the budget by 20 percent know, off the handle because we talk about that we love children. I, I agree that they do two great things there, but I don't see the necessity that they're that lacking for employees over there that we need to increase the wages to this amount. I don't see it. <coughs> okay, um, so call the question. Uh, all in favor of uh, Councilor Douglas' uh, motion? Opposed? I'm in favor of that. That's the 2% increase only? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yes, I'm in favor of that. Opposed? Four to three, so it is uh, carried. All oh, you needed out of that, Mr. Wall? Yes. So, uh, four to three point one, and it's the uh, tax rates. By law number 663 2018, three recommendations. Councilor <coughs> McKay? Uh, recommend the district to Tumble Ridge. 
2018 tax rates bylaw number 663 2018 be read for a first time Kirby. Suggestion? <coughs> it's odd. Just maybe I missed something there. Wasn't there something 3.01 on taxes? Or I thought we asked that. Studio was uh, <coughs> was the library. Okay, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologize. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Opposed? Number two. Okay. For the district of Dunbridge, 2018 tax rates by number 663, 2018, be read a second time. Seconder. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Uh, recommendation number three. Kirby. For the district of Tumbler Ridge, 2018 tax Tax rates bylaw number 663 2018 be read a third time. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. <coughs> okay, 3.2. Bylaw number 664 2018 2022 financial plan. Recommendations there too. Councillor Casey. Move, Your Worship, that the District of Tumbler Ridge 2018 Financial Bylaw, number 664-2018, be read at first time. Councillor Kirkakis. And discussion. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Uh, recommendation number two. Councillor Kirkakis. From the District of Tumbler Ridge. 2018 Financial Plan Bylaw number 664-2018 be read a second time. Seconder. Kirby. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Recommendation number three. Thank you. Councilor Kirby. Thank you. The District of Tumbler Ridge, 2018 Financial Plan Bylaw number 664-2018 be read a third time. Seconder, Councilor Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Um, question and answer period. Chris? <laughs> I have a couple of uh, questions, comments, I suppose. Um, just in, in um, response to a few comments being made, um, back when we lost the, the PRC funding, um, what was the budget at that time? I believe it was 16.1, 16 16.3? 16 Mr. Wall, can you? I'd have to take a look. That number sounds about right. About right. And um, currently, the, 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 the tax budget, the tax is coming this year, 15.8, I believe, in the tax budget. So, um, Councillor Howe, you were very adamant about cutting the the budget by 15% or you know the 1.5 million percentage whatever that was lost. Now with the budget being almost almost reinstated at that point, do you feel that um, I'm just surprised that you're not trying to put that money back into the city? You're still talking about cuts, whereas the cuts are you know the, the missing money is relatively minor, right? You know I noticed that you're very the council is very you know, Adam about cutting money, but now that the money's back, still talking about cutting. It doesn't really make sense. Sure. Did you want to answer? Yeah, no, I'll answer to that. So maybe I don't necessarily agree with your numbers, and I'd have to have a look at it, and then I'll get back to you, and we can have a discussion on it if you want. But not just the libraries. <clears throat> You'll see that, and you've been to quite a few meetings, I'm about trying to cut places everywhere. And the, the library is actually an increase to our budget. It's only a 2% increase to the budget, but it is an increase. You know, preferably, I'd like to find areas where we can cut back even further. Uh, my concern is is that we need to have a healthy budget going forward, a healthy surplus going forward so that we can do all the stuff that we don't already have scheduled for long-term payments, similar to the roads and the pipes and what's the next thing down the road, building envelopes, and yada, yada, yada. We never actually put that into the five-year plan of what we're doing there uh, efficiently as far as I'm concerned. 
So to me, I'd have to have a look at your numbers, but I don't agree with what what you said with those numbers. That I, I still think we're way behind where we needed to be for generating revenue. You, there's there's definitely a stream where you can see the the amount in our uh, surplus is becoming less and less and less. Fifteen point eight is it was a hard number. That's in the budget right now. It's in the budget for this year for revenue. Yes. No, the only, the only uh, point I wanted to raise, Your Worship, and maybe this was in order, but uh, where it indicates here as far as a question and answer period is concerned, questions related to the current council agenda only will be considered. And I just wanted to make that point. If uh, questions arise from the gallery or wherever, and it doesn't relate directly to the point we're talking about, then uh, we should move on. Uh, I've, been, I've been pretty lenient. <laughs> Anyway, um, I guess adjournment. Councilor Casey, Councilor Stroka, all in favor? Thank you.